this is just a short video to show you how to take your regular truss fire batteries and turn them into non-circuit uh, regulated batteries. Uh, so this is what we're starting with. It'll look like this. And we want it to end up like this. Uh, and this is what you should try to avoid, which is taking all the plastic off. Um, the problem is it's just, it's harder to store them and say a wire comes loose inside your uh, uh, battery tube. The, the wire in your battery tubes are the red tube, uh, sorry, the red wire. And so this is, this is all the negative, And so it would short if your, if your wire got somehow stripped and touched the edge. So you don't want, don't want them to end up like this. I did this the first time I did it and realized later it was an error. So uh, all you, all we're going to do is take this, this bit off the bottom, which is a little chip. Um, and the way you get it off safely is you feel around until you find the little wire, or the little, uh, if you can see it here in the video, yeah, right there. That's just this little flat wire that goes from the positive down to the, the chip at the bottom. So once you find it, you peel back the plastic in that area. Uh, there's plastic and there's also some other thing there that's an insulator. And then you'll find, see, see there, that little thing right there. Right there. Um, then you're going to take your clippers and uh, this is actually a good example of what it looks like inside. So if you look right there, that's where it was clipped. And this um, black seal, that's the only thing between the negative, because this part here is all negative. And then this is the positive. So it's very easy to short them out. Um, so don't touch the two. And if you do, you know, quickly stop doing that. <laughs> um, and you take your... You, flush cutters are better than these. I can't find mine, so I'm going to try it with this. And you just stick it on there. Make sure you stay on the one side of the black. And you trip it. Trim it. Cut it. If you have regular flush cutters, it's, it's definitely easier. All right. So you can see there that it's cut now from the black uh, o-ring there's nothing going across it once that's done then we're just going to cut the the bottom off everything i do today is going to be bakshi because my exacto knife <laughs> kind of bit the biscuit recently so what i'm doing here is i'm just cutting along the edge Uh, between the board. Now you want to do it between the board uh, because you want to have a little bit of the plastic left over. Well, I'm going to try something anyways. We can always trim that plastic off later if it's an error. Okay, so now that I've uh, cut all the way around it, stick your fingers in there. You peel it off. Okay, so now you'll see this piece here is uh, attached, and this is the bit that leads to the front. So you grab this with your pliers, and hope that your pliers are not suck like mine appear to be. And in all other cases, it just slipped right out. So that's, that's the little wire that was in there. Well, you know, whatever, flat wire. Okay, now at the bottom we have this, uh, looks like sort of like hardboard. Just pull that out. Maybe use your knife to pull it out. Right. This piece of 
the old plastic insulation can also come off. So now we're like this. So that hardboard was there to keep this, which is the chip, um, away from the terminal. That's all. So it's no longer needed there. Um, and then this little piece here, you'll want to pull that off too if you can. Again, preferably with players that are not as crappy as mine. Okay, so that'll do for now. You guys can do a better job if you want. It's mostly gone. And then you can file the little uh, trailing bits there uh, after. So that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I'm going to try, I haven't done this before, so maybe it will fail, is I think this is some sort of heat shrink. So I'm going to try to Yep, seems to be working. And yeah, that just tidies it up nicely. Except for the one side, which is disobeying. Do not like inanimate objects disobeying me. Sets a bad precedent. Yeah, so the little pe the little um, bit of yellow tape, insulation tape, was in the way, so I just trimmed that away. And there we go. Good as new, huh? Very exciting. Give her a try.